The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the first letter of St. John. Let us love then, because he first loved us. Anyone who says, I love God, and hates his brother is a liar, since whoever does not love the brother whom he can see cannot love God whom he has not seen. Indeed, this is the commandment we have received from him, that whoever loves God must also love his brother. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is a child of God, and whoever loves the Father loves the Son. In this way, we know that we love God's children, when we love God and keep His commandments. This is what the love of God is, keeping His commandments. Nor are His commandments burdensome, because every child of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. And our response is taken from Psalm 72. God, endow the king with your own fair judgment, the son of the king with your own saving justice, that he may rule your people with justice and your poor with fair judgment. From oppression and violence he redeems their lives. Their blood is precious in his sight. Long may he live, and may the gold of Sheba be given him. Prayer will be offered for him constantly, and blessings invoked on him all day. May his name be blessed forever and endure in the sight of the sun. In him shall be blessed every race in the world, and all nations will call him blessed. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus, with the power of the Spirit in him, returned to Galilee, and his reputation spread throughout the countryside. He taught in their synagogues, and everyone glorified him. He came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day as he usually did. He stood up to read, and they handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Unrolling the scroll, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord is on me, for he has anointed me to bring the good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives, sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim a year of favor from the Lord. He then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the assistant, and sat down and all eyes in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to speak to them, this text is being fulfilled today even while you are listening. And he won the approval of all, and they were astonished by the gracious words that came from his lips. They said, this is Joseph's son, surely. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord, 